हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand error management in communication system. In wireless communication, noise and interference will leads to errors at receiver end. Hence, receiver reads the received signal as a different message signal. This is bad enough. in voice calls it also damages important information in web pages and data transfer like emails hence there is a need for error detection and correction there are several ways for error detection and correction we will discuss two methods first one is forward error correction and second one is automatic repeat request in wireless communication noise and interference will lead to error at receiver end so whenever a signal is transmitted in wireless communication the signal will be added with noise and there will be interference in the signal that will lead to error at the receiver end which means the receiver will read the received information as a different message signal other than the message signal which is transmitted this is bad enough in voice call which means it will affect the voice calls and also it will damages the important information in web pages and also it will damage the data transfer so data transfer which means it will affect the emails also so these are the examples of error in received signal so there is a need for error detection as well as correction so we require some error management so that these errors are reduced so there are two methods for error management which we'll discuss in this video first one is forward error correction and second one is automatic repeat request first let us understand forward error correction in forward error correction the transmitted information is represented using code word here code word is two or three times longer than the information for example if we take information bit as 101 which is need to be transmitted hence the code word might be 1100101111 so which means the information which is to be transmitted is of 3 bits and the code word will be of 9 bits so these extra bits which are added to the information is known as redundant bits so redundant bits are extra bits that allows receiver to recover the original information so here transmitted information is represented using code word so code word is two or three times longer than the information so for example if information is 3 bit code word will be of 9 bit so these extra bits that are added to the information is known as redundant bits so these redundant bits are extra bits that allows the receiver to recover the original information for example if there is any error in a transmitted bit like if the information is transmitted as 1000101111 and if the coding scheme is well designed then the receiver can identify that this is not a valid code word now instead of transmitting this code word if this code word is transmitted which means there is a error in second bit so as you can see here there is a error in second bit and if the code scheme is well designed then the receiver can identify that this is not the valid 
code word that is transmitted by the transmitter. The receiver will correct the error and it will identify that the most likely transmitted code word is 11001011 and 1. In forward error correction, first the code rate will be fixed. The code rate is the number of information bit divided by the number of transmitted bits. So, as we know, number of information bits are 3 bits and number of transmitted bits are 9 bits. So, it will be 3 by 9. So, code rate will be 1 by 3. So, in forward error correction, the algorithm will operate with fixed code rate. So, here in our case, the code rate will be 1 by 3. This figure shows an example of forward error correction method. So, here as you can see at the transmitter end, the information bits are 3 bit which is 101. So, using turbo coding which is the first stage, the code word is generated which is of 9 bit. The second stage is rate matching. Here, some of the code bits are transmitted and remaining bits are discarded. This process is known as puncturing. So, as you can see here, from this code word, two bits are not transmitted. So, this process is known as the puncturing of code word. So, these bits are known as punctured code word. So, this information is transmitted and that is received by the receiver. So, you can see here the punctured code word is received at the receiver. The dummy bit will insert the missing bits to the received punctured code word. So, here the receiver will also have some puncturing algorithm. That is why the receiver will add the dummy bits at the discarded bit locations. Then it will pass through the turbo detector for error correction. After error correction, the receiver will recover the original information bits. So, this is the process of forward error correction. So, at transmitting end, the turbo encoder will fix the code rate which is 1 by 3 in this case. Then, at rate matching, some of the code bits are transmitted and remaining bits are discarded. So, this process is known as puncturing. So, this puncture bit will be transmitted. At receiver end, the receiver will have a copy of puncturing algorithm and it will add dummy bits at discarded location at the received punctured code word. Then these bits are passed through turbo decoder for error correction and original bits are recovered at the receiver. So, at the transmitting end turbo encoder will fix the code rate which is 1 by 3 in our case. At rate matching some of the bits are transmitted and remaining bits are discarded. This process is known as puncturing. So, puncturing is done at rate matching. So, which will be transmitted to the receiver section. Receiver will receive this copy of code word with errors. So, receiver will have a copy of puncturing algorithm. That is why the receiver will add some dummy bits at discarded location. So, the receiver will add some dummy bits at discarded location of the received punctured code word. Then these bits are passed through the turbo decoder for error correction. So, this will be passed through the turbo decoder that will be helpful in error correction. After error correction, receiver will recover the information bit that is transmitted by the transmitter. Now, let us understand the second method of error management which is automatic repeat request. In this method, the transmitter takes the blocks of information bits and uses them to compute some extra bit. So, for the block of information, 
some extra bits are added that extra bits are known as cyclic redundancy check which is CRC. When CRC bits are appended with the information bit then these bits will be transmitted and it is received at the receiver end. Receiver will separate these two bits to compute the expected CRC bit. If the observed and expected CRC bits are same then it concludes that the information has been received correctly and then it will send the positive acknowledgement to the transmitter. If the CRC bits that are received are different then it concludes that the error has occurred and the receiver will send the negative acknowledgement to the transmitter and it will request the transmitter to retransmit the data. So, this is the process of automatic repeat request. So, here the transmitter takes the blocks of bit and uses them to compute some extra bits which is known as cyclic redundancy check which is CRC. Then the transmitter will append CRC with block of bits and transmits it to receiver. The receiver separates these two fields to compute the expected CRC bit. If expected and CRC bit are same then the receiver concludes that the received bits are correct information and it will send positive acknowledgement to the transmitter. Generally positive acknowledgement is represented as ACK. If the received CRC bit are different then the transmitter will conclude that wrong information is received. Hence the receiver will send negative acknowledgement to transmitter. So negative acknowledgement is represented as NACK and receiver will request retransmission of the information. So, as we have discussed the transmitter will take the blocks of data and it will compute the CRC bits. Then these CRC bits will be added or appended with the data bits and it will be transmitted to the receiver section. The receiver section will receive these two blocks of data and it will compute for CRC. If the received CRC is same as observed then it will conclude that the received data is correct information and it will send the positive acknowledgement to the transmitter. If CRC bit is different than observed then it will conclude that the wrong information is received. Hence the receiver will send the negative acknowledgement to the transmitter and it will request to retransmit the information. So, this is the process of automatic repeat request. This is about error management in communication system. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.